In his initial reaction to the events, President Erdogan took a relatively balanced position, calling on both sides to de-escalate the situation. Ankara is worried about uh, the humanitarian and political fallout of what many in the country see as a disproportionate Israeli response. Officials are also worried about a potential Israeli ground incursion into Gaza that may lead to further destruction and the loss of even more innocent civilian lives. They also worry about a conflagration that could draw in other actors and ignite a broader confrontation, which would be detrimental um, to the region as well as Ankara's own interests. After years of adversarial relations in an attempt to break out of its regional isolation and remedy for its domestic um, um, economic troubles, Ankara has taken steps to normalize its relations, not only with Israel, but also with Egypt, um, the UAE and Saudi Arabia. Simultaneously, that has come with efforts to reduce its engagement with and influence over the political arm of Hamas. Uh, which Ankara does not designate as a terrorist organization, and the representatives of which have had some presence in Turkey. Ankara now feels it is well positioned to mediate in this conflict, both to de-escalate the situation and in the longer term to push Palestinians and Israelis towards negotiations for um, um, a two-state solution, um, on the basis of, uh, again, reiterated by Erdogan, on the basis of the 1967 borders. In the immediate aftermath of the events, Turkish officials were engaged in intensive diplomacy with uh, countries in the region, Israeli and Palestinian leaders, as well as uh, Western allies. Um, Ankara also said it is invested in efforts to help broker deals on prisoner um, exchanges. So Ankara's subtle diplomacy and calls for a moderation will likely intensify in the coming days. And just as in the war in Ukraine, Ankara finds itself in yet another delicate balancing act in a deadly conflict, the implications of which will probably alter its uh, regional calculations.